this is the towel radiator that we're going to be fitting. Uh, with it you get a blanking plug. And the bleed valve. And these both screw into these holes on the top. So all you need to do is take it. You don't actually need any PTFE tape on these because they have a rubber o-ring that actually seals it. So all you need to do is screw that in there. And then just tighten it up using the suitable spanner. So now this side will fit the actual bleed valve itself and again it's got a o-ring on it so we can just screw it straight in. And again we'll just tighten that up using the spanner. So once you've done that you can then turn the radiator over. Now in this end goes radiator tails and uh, often you get these on radiators and you actually need a radiator key which is a, a large allen key to insert them but this particular one has got flats on it so we can quite easily put those in just using a spanner. If you look on this end there's no actual sealing ring or anything so it's going to rely on PTFE tape to seal it so we're going to wrap some PTFE tape around the threads. And we've gone around about 12 times now, so that should do. So once you've done that, you can then screw that directly into the radiator. And then we'll just tighten that up using a spanner. So I've decided to put the radiator here in this position and uh, I've lifted it up off the floor by maybe 8 to 10 inches. You can put it at whatever you, uh, you want really because we will be using chrome tube later on. I've marked the centre of the radiator there with some brown tape. So to the right hand side of that is the centre. So I've tried to align that with the grout line there in the centre. I know I've not grouted yet but I will be doing. So if we then look down you can see that I've got it on a old tub of tile adhesive so we're just keeping it there for the moment and we're just going to take a closer look at the actual fixings that came with this so that actual piece fits around the radiator and then that bit fits in and they both fit into this part and this part is screwed to the wall so I'll just give you a demo of how these work.
there are four of these as well. Sometimes you only get three uh, fixings with some towel radiators. So that's the part that goes around the tube on the radiator. Once you've done that, you slide that piece into the back. And then that fits into the piece that's fixed to the wall, which is this piece, which goes in there. And then you put a securing screw in there as well. So that's how the actual unit fixes to the wall with four of those. So I've now got the tape aligned with the grout line at the back, so it's pretty central. Uh, and I've just checked it for level using the spirit level, and it is perfectly level there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where each of the actual fixings go on the ball. I'm now going to mark around the fixing using a China graph pencil, which will right on the towel. And once we've marked around each of the brackets we can then remove the unit from the wall. So I can now put the bracket back onto the wall and I can mark the centre and that is where the drill hole needs drilling. So I'm going to do that on all four now. So I've now got a small masonry bit and I've got a drill here and the drill doesn't actually have hammer action on it. But you should never try drilling a tile with hammer action because you'll break it straight away. If you struggle starting a drill off on a surface like this, you can put a piece of masking tape on. It'll stop you from sliding all over the place then. What I prefer to do is to pulse the drill. So if I just get it where I want it, then slowly pull the trigger and just give it a few pulses and once you've broke the glaze it will stop you from sliding and what you don't want to do is press on too hard because if you press on too hard you're going to actually crack your towel And once you get through the glaze, it is normally pretty soft. And we have now actually got through the towel. So I'm going to repeat that process on all four holes now. And the plugs with this kit are quite substantial plugs. And so are the screws that go into the plugs. So I'm now going to use a larger drill bit. I'm going to enlarge the hole. And that hole is not quite big enough because what we actually need to do is get the plug behind the tile. It's not good sticking it in the tile. If you stick that in the tile and you tighten a screw up in there, it'll make it expand. You're going to crack your tile. So now I just need to repeat this process on all four holes and then I'm going to enlarge the holes again an even bigger size. I've now put a piece of insulation tape on the drill so that will accommodate the plug plus about 10 mil for the tail. So once we've drilled an hole through the tail and we've gone deep enough, we can then put these plugs in, ensuring that they go straight through the tail and don't stick in the tail at all. So I'm now going to drill the wall using this drill.
and that hole is now deep enough. So I'm now going to repeat that on all four holes. So I'm now going to repeat that on all four rolls. So I'm now going to push all four plugs straight through and straight through the tile. And I'm going to make sure it's in as far as it can go by pushing it in using a pencil. Because it's critical that that is through the tile. And I'm going to do that on all four rolls. So now I'm just going to take a heavy duty wonder white and I'm just going to clean off the China Graph pencil that we put on earlier. So I'm now going to use the fixing bolt supplied. I'm going to push that through the bracket and I'm going to fasten that to the wall. It's essential whenever you're fixing anything like this to a, a tiled wall that you get the plug through the actual tile. If you leave the plug in the surface of the tile and you tighten it up, you're going to crack your tile. So I'm going to repeat that on all four rolls. So I can now lift the towel radiator up and make sure that each bracket locates inside the locating part of the bracket. And then once you've pushed it in, you can then fix it in position using the provided screws and then I'll go in from the side. So I've now lifted up a few floorboards that were loose anyway and I've just lightly tightened up the compression fittings here on the valve just so that it holds the chrome tube in place. So now I'm going to use compression elbows and I'm going to pipe that pipe up to this pipe which will mean cutting it off and putting a couple of elbows in. And I'm going to do the same on the return side. Uh, I have done videos on how to use compression fittings, so it's a bit pointless me filming anymore because it is pretty basic. What I have done is I've drained down the system and I've removed the caps from there and I've opened these and I've opened the bleed valve from one of the radiators so now there's no water at all in the pipe work. So now it's just a case of doing a bit of cutting and fitting some compression elbows to pipe up the new pipe.